greetings to all from the land of Michigan, as my daughter would like to say, Michigan, not Michigan. Um, I'm very grateful to be in this space. Um, it's been very beautiful. It's been very beautiful. I've, I've enjoyed the water, the energy of the water so much since I've been here, especially, um, you know, uh, being from Florida and moving to Georgia and not having as much access to the water, but um, I love it. I love, even this space, even this space that we're in right now, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I also want to give gratitude to the uh, snapping turtle that uh, we just uh, discovered upon coming to this space. It was a snapping turtle not far from where we, um, not far from where we are now, went, went to the water. Um, took some pictures, but I'm very grateful for that because the turtle, I'm, I'm starting to see and feel that the turtle is one of my um, animal spirit guides. I've been doing a lot of connecting with turtles for the past uh, month or so, I would say. Even when I was in Georgia, I uh, one day was out for a walk and saw and, and saw some turtles just sitting on the side of the road. So, um, very grateful for that snapping turtle, uh, for confirmation. Um, in this video, I just want to uh, mention a few things, uh, specifically about the ceremony that will be taking place this Friday, June 21st, at Belle Isle. For those who are here in the state of Michigan, for those who are in Detroit, I most certainly invite you to come out um, this Friday morning, this coming Friday morning, to participate, to join in, um, to celebrate the, the uh, summer solstice, or as I like to say, the season of the fight. The ceremony I've named it, but the ceremonies in and of themselves are called the journey to the center of self. But for this particular ceremony, because of the uh, summer solstice that's upon us, I've called it the journey to the center of self, the gateway of fire. Because we are, again, we are entering into the summer solstice, which is the fire energy, through the cancer energy, which is a very powerful, powerful energy. Um, in this ceremony, in, in, which is which is basically it's taking place in all ceremonies, but in this particular ceremony, we really want to do a lot of good, a lot of celebrating, and not just within this ceremony, but just in this season because that's the time that we're in. It's a time for celebrating because we are entering, as I said, into the season of fire. The fire is the season of renewal, the season of cleansing, and the season of transformation. So because we are in a space of transformation, a space of renewal, we are to usher that energy in by celebrating. And so um, that's definitely one of the things that we will be doing a lot of celebrating. Um, and you know, I'll, I'll be guiding you in that way, in, in those particular ways in which we celebrate. But in this particular um, ceremony, we're going to do some, some great, we're going to go deep within. That's, that's why I named it the journey to the center of self, because it takes you truly deep within the center of who you are or as I like to say, the heart chakra. Um, I always say, look within nature, and you see a lot of green. In the same aspects, your heart chakra is green, and the reason for that is because that energy, both energies, the heart chakra and within nature, when we're in nature, it raises the frequency, it raises the vibration. When you are vibrating from your heart chakra, you are, you are, uh, you are um, vibrating from a very high frequency. So, in the same sense, it's the same when we are in nature. It's the connection. As a matter of fact, the earth and the heart, the connection of that is earth itself. That is the earth energy. The heart is the earth. So um, again, I want to invite everyone out, for those who are here in the area, for those who are out of town, come and join in and celebrate. Um, the charge is $10. And trust me, that $10 is very, it will be very well worth your time and money. Um, you will not, you, you will most certainly feel the reciprocation. You will certainly feel fed and nurtured when you leave. Um, for those who do come, um, make sure you bring yourself some water. Make sure you bring a blanket or a sheet or something for that to sit on because we will not, we will be sitting on the ground. So you want to make sure you have something to sit on and uh, be prepared to be there for at least about a good three to four hours um, because I give a lot of my time, a lot of my energy and and uh, assisting and guiding in these ceremonies. A uh, part of the ceremony that I also like to um, that I like to do, because I always say the ceremonies is not about you coming to sit down listening to me. It's a very involved ceremony. So part of the ceremony is about you coming to be fully involved. It's a fully involved aspect or a fully involved ceremony. So come with questions. Come with things that are going on in your life that you are seeking true answers to discover. Because that's what this whole ceremony, or part of this whole ceremony is about. So again, that's this uh, coming Friday, June 21st at Belle Isle. 
Um, the location is near, for those who are familiar, is near the light tower. Um, for what I understand, oh, excuse me, the lighthouse. Um, for what I understand, it's a lot of great ceremony, a lot of great energy that is taking place over there. Um, also, um, again, because we are in the season of fire, it's about, now we are in the space of celebrating. We have to usher this energy in. The season of fire, or the fire element, should I say, is connected to the soul. The fire is the soul. The soul is also, or as they like to say, the soul is the internal sun, the internal sun energy. Interestingly enough, you have the, you have the cancer, which is the water element, and then right after cancer comes the Leo, which is the fire. So you see how see how this transition always takes place. And I'm, I'm really starting to notice that within the astrology, how one sign always ushers in the next sign in some way, shape, or form. So this cancer energy, which is the water element, which is also a very powerful element for this time because the water element is the renewal. It is the connection to the womb energy. It ushers in the fire element, which is the renewal, which is the, which is the uh, cleansing, which is, you know, so, so there's always that connection there. So again, this, at this uh, space and time, it's about the celebrating, it's about the bringing forth that energy. Um, again, but and at the same time, I want to say too, it's not so much as about bringing in the energy because the energy is already within you. So it's so much, it's, it's really more so about bringing up the energy or, or, or clearing the way for the energy to rise within you to experience it on the inter or, from, or from the external aspect. Again, it's always, the external is always the projection of the internal. So this, this fire energy, this fire element that we are bringing in, so to speak, is more so a, a, uh, a releasing or a cleansing or excuse me, a clearing energy that is already within you so that the fire energy can rise or better or to go even further with it so that your soul can rise because the soul has to rise to the heart. As they say, that is the seat of the soul. So that is what we're doing with this fire energy. We are causing, we are, we are, we are clearing the way, we're clearing the energy so that the soul, which is your fire energy, your soul, your sun energy, to rise to the heart chakra. And again, um, that's part of what we'll be doing at this uh, ceremony on this coming Friday. So again, I certainly want to invite everyone to come out um, to join in, to truly join in. To join in meaning mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, on all levels. That is, that is the true aspect of joining in. To come and join in with us to celebrate to uh, truly discover, as I like to say, discover the, uh, to, to, to discover and navigate the truth of who you are. And that's what we'll be doing. So please come join us this coming Friday, June 21st, for the Summer Solstice Celebration. I'll shake.